After watching this documentary on HBO Max, I stopped in the tracks of the video I was making about some recipes and my opinions on them. Because after this documentary, I realized that these recipes were just silly and I just didn't care enough. And I had to make a different video. I knew it was the biggest stage that I would perform for in my life. For Olympians, that's what defines you. Athletes have worked their entire lives for this moment. I wanted to do everything I could to be the best skater I could. Everything revolves around this sole focus, and that sole focus is the Olympics. And now the next 40 seconds will dictate our human lives. But after the Olympics, the village doors close, and that's kind of it. Win or lose, I've felt a dramatic emptiness. We're just so lost. A good 80%, maybe more, go through some kind of post-Olympic depression. It's gold, and then what? I didn't develop outside interests. I thought of myself as just a swimmer and not a human being. That's where I was just like, why don't I just end it all? From the outside, it's like you got everything. Athletes just don't talk about our weaknesses. That just cracks the facade. The mainstream media love building somebody up and then come crashing down. Depression puts you into a spiral. You just start getting deeper and deeper into it. He was my best friend. We have to do something. And this is important. Youth around the world watch and look up to these people. I've given my blood, sweat, and tears. And all I'm asking is that someone can help me get through this. We're human. I don't think I have to say anything else. I always look forward to coming home and getting to walk in that park and around those fields, a much needed oasis, which then gives way to that traffic and the rest of the city. The Weight of Gold received at least one negative review, which shows that there are such people still in this world. I made this video because I wanted to put out a much more positive mindset. And more recently, gymnast Simone Biles was also the victim of negativity after withdrawing from several events in the Olympics. What these people don't get is that their negativity isn't just hurting the people that they are talking about, it is hurting themselves. Well, we should be more entitled. We should be entitled to living with intention, to self-care, and to boundaries. Yes, I am entitled, and you should be too. When it comes to living with intention, you are here to kick the world's ass. Right now, companies are busy at work solving the issues of traffic that we create. They're both making the existing systems more efficient and they're adding to the system with new roads and tunnels and other infrastructure. But we can also make a decision to be less of a burden ourselves. How often do you say, wow, I'm stuck in traffic, I love this? Well, if you answered honestly, probably never. So why do you keep doing it to yourself? Ultimately, you choose what you do with your time. I challenge you not to apologize for traffic, not to make excuses for it. I challenge you to figure out ways that you can reduce time you spend being stuck in those traffic jams that honestly, you do not want to be in. So with intention, you have to know what you like and what you dislike. You have to really get to know yourself, which surprisingly isn't that easy since we all start out as babies who don't really know anything and we just go to school and we do what our parents do. And eventually we have to figure ourselves out. And once we do figure ourselves out, we can then set a clear vision 
of what we want our life to be and start going after that. Biatch. You really need to get to know your values and you really need to get to know your strengths and weaknesses and then you're all set. And once you have the clear vision, you need to start taking actions, you need to start learning, you need to start doing things to make that vision more and more of a reality every day. And unfortunately, it doesn't happen overnight for most, but you will get closer to your vision over time. You hear a lot about self-care these days. I certainly do. You hear about what people do, like baths and retreats. I'll tell you what, I got news for you. Self-care is just as much about the things you do not do. Simone Biles exhibited extraordinary self-care when she decided to withdraw from a few events after experiencing the twisties. That's self-care at the highest level. The pressure is on to perform when the whole world's watching, but you do what you need to do for yourself. We are the masses, we are the many millions, and big companies and the governments want to use us for their own ends. The truth is, you are the police, you are the FBI, you are the military. It is your responsibility to enforce the well-being of yourself. Boundaries is another word you hear thrown around a lot, and usually people just mean how they allow others to treat them and how they treat others. But the best boundaries apply to everything, including your work life. You probably figured out by now that I'm not a very big fan of traffic, and you probably guessed it. One of my biggest boundaries in life is bad traffic. Hell, even normal traffic. If you ever saw The Devil Wears Prada with Anne Hathaway and Meryl Streep, Anne Hathaway's character is a perfect example of someone with poor work-life boundaries. When I interview for jobs, my mom always tells me, don't tell them what you actually think or what you actually feel. Tell them what they want to hear. No, that is how you lose your power. And that is how they hold on to their power over you because you're gonna go as far as to deny yourself just to try to get and keep a job. Just know that there are choices to be made and that those choices may go beyond what you think is even possible or what is likely. And you will do best when you don't automatically dismiss things because they seem unreasonable. Please enjoy the rest of this video without any more commentary from me. Please enjoy all the drone footage. Please enjoy the music. As always, if you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to my channel, please like it, please drop a good comment, it all helps out.